Hey, first grade families and friends. This is Miss Burns here and welcome back to week six, day three of Teleschool. I'm gonna walk you through our next math lesson. This week we are living in 1G3. That's our standard for this week. And 1G3 is going to ask us to partition shapes into halves and quarters. Yesterday, in, yesterday we started talking about partitioning shapes and halves. We're gonna continue that discussion today. So let's look at our I can statements. We're partitioning rectangles and circles into halves, keeping in mind that squares are also considered rectangles. We're also going to describe half or one half as half of the whole. So let's take a look at what some of these words mean. Miss Burns, you keep throwing this word partition around. Well, what on earth does it mean? Partition, you'll notice, has a word in it that we already know. You'll see the word part has a square, a red square around it. The word part is just like chunks, right? If you want a part of the pizza, you want a chunk of the pizza. When we partition, we are cutting or breaking or dividing a whole into parts. Now you can partition into unequal parts, but that's not what we're doing today. We want to partition our whole into two equal parts. And that's what we know as a half. A half is when we take a whole and break it into two equal parts. One of those parts is considered a half. You'll notice that I have the center of our chart circled and it's going to highlight for us that half has two equal parts. You'll see that we have a square, a circle, and a rectangle, all of which are partitioned into two equal parts. You'll also notice that that partition, that red dotted line, is not necessarily in the same spot. The square is cut from side to side or partitioned from side to side, the circle is partitioned or cut from top to bottom, and the rectangle is partitioned or cut from corner to corner. It does not matter where your partition is as long as the result is two equal parts. On the bottom, you'll notice if we divide our square into two equal parts and you get one of those parts, you're getting half or half of a brownie if that's what you are sharing. And if you are sharing, yes, I will accept. So we're gonna go into iReady. And I wanna walk you through some of the questions that are going to be asked. And then I'll show you exactly where you can find this iReady video. And you'll notice on the bottom, I know my first grade friends know that the task bar on the bottom shows you how much has been completed, that blue part. I've already skipped part of this. You can go back and re-watch some of the explanations for my iReady friends. So the first question is, how many halves are in a whole circle? Hmm. Well, I know that half means that a whole is broken up into two equal parts. So you must need two halves to make a whole. Let's see. You can't hear it because when I recorded it with the sound, guys, it was a bunch of crazy but they're going, yay, you got it. Two halves make a whole. Our next question, which shape is divided into halves? Well, halves, as we just said, are two equal parts. So automatically, I know I can get rid of this green rectangle because it's not even divided into two parts. It's divided or partitioned into one, two, three, four parts. We call those quarters or fourths, Hold on to that thought for tomorrow. We'll start talking about fourths and quarters tomorrow. Then I've got the purple rectangle and the blue rectangle. Well, the purple rectangle is divided into two parts. The blue rectangle is also divided into two parts, but the blue rectangle is not divided or partitioned into two equal parts. These parts are unequal. One is much bigger than another. So let me look again at the purple rectangle. The purple rectangle is divided or partitioned into two equal parts. 
If I were to fold this rectangle in half along the partitioned line or cut along that partition, I could put one triangle, which is one of these halves, on top of the other triangle or half, and that would show me they are equal. Two halves make a whole. I'm selecting my purple rectangle, which is divided into two halves to make my now again, you can't hear it, but it's going, yay, yay, do, 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 you got it. Okay, our next question. Which shape shows a half of a circle? Half of a circle. Well, this green circle is a whole. It's the entire thing. It's all of a circle. So that is certainly not showing me half. This orange piece, Mm, if I put two of those together, will I make my whole, which is a circle? I don't think so. I'm going to need more than two of these orange pieces. These are called quarter circles. We'll talk about those tomorrow. Let me look at the purple. The purple looks like if I put two of these together, two equal parts, I could get the whole, which is a circle. This purple one is what we call a half circle. I wonder why a circle or a semicircle. Two halves make one. I'm going to stop it right here, friends. You can see that your iReady friends are very excited for you for all the great work that you did. Now, I want you after this video to do two things. Thing number one is, as always, this is not the video for today, but I'm just showing you an example below your video you're always going to have your assignment. Click me to find your assignment. That's where you can go to complete your Microsoft form. And that's where your teachers will find out whether you did your work and you get your credit for your work or not. But sometimes you're gonna see this other button that says, need more help? Click me for an iReady video. If you need more help, that means there's an iReady video there waiting for you. If you click on that link, it's going to bring you to a Nearpod. I'm going to show you. This is not the video that we just shot, saw, but let me just show you an example. It's going to open up Nearpod. Mr. Hollis, some of you guys know him. His name is going to pop up. If you want it to stay like Mr. Hollis, you can. Or, hey, why don't we put my name in here? We're going to join the section. And then your I Ready video is going to pop up for you. So if you're one of those friends who's working on a phone and is unable to access I Ready because your phone won't let you, it will let you if you go through the Nearpod, okay? You can view a video and do the activities through the Nearpod link, okay? Thanks so much for watching, friends. I want to come back really quickly to our I can statement and remind you that today, let's move this guy out of the way, we're partitioning rectangles and circles into halves and remembering that half is half of the whole. Thanks so much, and tomorrow, look forward to talking about quarters and fourths.